Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope you had a safe and wonderful holidays. And we're back to the ground on the channel try to get some more views and share and help give you info that you need to help you with any device, Android, Windows, x86 handhelds, PC, PS5, and Xbox, and any other device that we can get out there. Uh, try to test review stuff, try to test electronics, try to test, you know, gadgets, household items, whatever, you know, just to help you guys out. So, hope you had fun. Back, time to go to work, time to go to school. I know it's a pain in the butt, but y'all got to do it. But anyway, today we're going to do Xbox 360 emulation. Um, I recorded a video earlier, but I had to redo it because it had some, some issues with it. So, um, hopefully this time... I won't have no issues recording this time and I kind of fix certain small stuff so with the Xbox 360 you need the emulator really that's it you don't need anything else yeah you need the games but you get your ROMs where you get your ROMs at uh, but you need to just go to your web, web browser type in Xenia Canary uh, download and the first one that pops up will be the github page as you can see it requires 310 megabytes for free storage and you need 512 gigabytes of ram not much really required but the more you have the better it is so we'll click right here go down to see where the latest and as you can see the canary experimental it is a experimental build so everything doesn't work but you get a, it works better than the regular Xenia app the stable app you come in, you find what you need, your source codes for your uh, Linux people, and this is for your Windows. You click on that, download it, and of course, wherever you download for that, that's where you go in and get it. Alright, so, once it downloads, it's going to pop out these few things, and once you, you know, open it up, it's going to look like this. That's it. You don't need nothing else. You don't need no BIOS. You don't need no other files. It's like... Um, that play app for PS2, you don't need BIOS and all that for that, but I can't, you know, it's better apps than, the, but you know, you got your 8 to SS2 and stuff like that. But anyway, so over to the Zen. Now, if you have Zenia Canary and you want to update, you download it, extract it into a different folder, drag that folder and copy all of it, and then move it over, and then it'll just automatically. If it's going to ask you do you want to replace it or skip it and stuff like that you hit replace and it will replace you know everything that you need it won't replace your save file as long as you got your games already there and that's a good thing but it helps replace what you need so as you can see I got Raging Blast 2 Final Fantasy Golden 9 and on the SD card I have Skate 3 and Grand Theft Auto and these just for testing purposes so that way you guys you know have something to see and watch while I'm testing. Of course, I got three different spots where I download my stuff at. So, all right, let's go back to the Dragon Rage and Blast. Play a few little, you know, fights on that. Well, just do a little training, show you that it runs, and move on from there. Now, of course, you can put other 360 games on here. Black Ops 2. I haven't tried that. I tried Black Ops 1. That don't run well on here because it just it's, it's hard to run on them. Uh, Black Ops 2 I think does run but I'll have to download and test it later uh, so you got you got to pick and choose which game is going to get on RPCS 3 they said finally they got every game running on this but what is this game I can always test it I can always test it Yeah, I made it like I said. 
says in this grand game. Hey, you can find it in the past. Hey, you can find it in the past. What's the mercy? That's it. That's it. And I'm going to close it out and keep in, you know, doing the games because for some reason it won't let me just open without closing. So we'll just close it. Go to the next game. Raging Blast 2 worked good. Really good. Final Fantasy 13. Again, a lot of people don't like, but hey, it is what it is. You don't have to like it. We just testing the games for you. It's what I like. I'm not a big Final Fantasy person, but I do like some Final Fantasy games. I started off on 10 2, another game people don't like as well. I started off on second was 13, then I went to 15. Then I went to the 7 remake, stuff like that. I haven't played in, I'm not a big Final Fantasy. I love Square Enix, I love their games, but I ain't gonna say I'm a big Final Fantasy person. I just do like, I just starting to like Final Fantasy. Let's just say that. Uh, but as you can see, the game runs. Now when I did the first video, it was freezing where I couldn't get the game to run, but now like, like you see now, it's freezing now. And so I have to restart it, try it again. Stuff like that. It, it 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 runs, but you still gotta watch how. Like I said, with it being experimental, it runs when it wanna run. It don't run when it don't wanna run. You also have a chance to blue screen in your screen, cause for whatever reason, it taxes on the Steam Deck. Like I said, the Steam Deck wasn't really made to be a Windows system. It was made to be a Steam Deck for a Steam operating system, the Linux side, that it already runs on. Uh, but the fact that it has the capability to run the Windows is very impressive. Alright, now let's see if it starts running right. Alright, there we go. Now, we, now you see it running. Like I said, it, it, I ain't never had it really doing that. When I was playing through it a little bit, but I kept it the beginning part of the game. Oh well, I think it's the reason why it's freezing because I have the wallpaper engine. If I turned it off or turned or use one of the lighter wallpaper engine videos, I don't think it would be a big issue. But because uh, this does tax your GPU and stuff, so I think that's why it's also freezing. But we'll we'll just I'll worry about that another time. I'm not gonna worry about turning that off now. So, but the game does run. Final Fantasy does run on it. It's just like I said because of that. Uh, wallpaper engine and other stuff I think I have a lot of other stuff that's in the background as well yeah that's running as well so yeah that's why but another game golden eye 007 with the Xbox 360 I'm just gonna go through go through play a little bit show you that it runs Hey, this game actually does run pretty well. I didn't have really no issues out of this one either. Like I said, I didn't really have no issues out of the Final Fantasy. It's just some reason, just just that issue for some reason. Sneak down, get a little sneak in action. Easy, they can sleep, no problem. Give me the gun. Make sure you open wide. Talking to him for a minute. I'm going to subdue him. Take that sniper off his hand. It's good they body disappear. See, they thought about that when they first did this one. They body disappear. Power clear. See if you can find any extra firepower in there. Oh, okay, he took one out for me. Bingo company, heading to the bridge. Can you handle it? I always have it. That ain't the problem. Let's see. Let's see if I can make this one. Oh, oh, 
Target's down. Area clear. I'm moving to the truck. Right. Moving to your location. Yeah, to the truck. And there you go. That's good enough. So we'll end it there. That's the 007. Now, Skate 3. For some reason, Skate 3 was running... Um, I don't know why when I was doing the video, it was running slower than it's supposed to. Skate 3 actually was running at 30 frames on the Canary build. But for some reason, it's not. And you probably will see that in a few seconds. That is not running at um, 30 frames. It doesn't. I don't have the counter up to show it, but I do know it was running at 30 frames the last time I tried it. The last time I had updated this system was like on December 20th. I just updated to the 31st this morning because uh, that was the last major update they had. Whatever reason, like I said, now it's not running at the frames that need to. Look, yeah, now, now it is running. For some reason, earlier it was not running this smooth. But it is running smooth as it was. Escape. So, the fact for escape runs okay on here. Of course, the graphics don't look all that great, but at least it is running faster than it was my first day. So that's a good thing. At least y'all won't be able to have to see that because it was not running this smooth. As you see, I'm moving. Graphically, it doesn't look all that great. As it should, but. Ooh, you okay? You okay, my boy? No, that car laid. Okay, I'm talking about him. I laid my own self out. Car laid him out. Ooh, that's not right. Hey, I'm glad I caught that on camera though. That was funny. Car laid him out. All right, but as you see, man, it's not as smooth. Just as smooth. I mean, you got a little screen. It's running. That's good. All right. Last but not least, we Grand Theft Auto 4. Just in case my screen get blue screen. Hopefully it doesn't. But you know, I say that for last because I did get blue screen one time while playing this game. Hopefully, it, like I say, it doesn't do that. Hopefully, I can move around, look at stuff for a second, and you see it runs. Good to go. GTA 4 Loaded screens Okay, so it loaded up my uh, last load Because if I had started over Like I had earlier, it would have started over See, now it wasn't glitching that bad But it seemed like it is now Oh, okay, that's that Now, Xenia 360 got a long way to go still. It still got a long and a lot of updates to start working out. Hopefully this year is going to be a lot more fixes. Um, it's good that PC, you know, RPCS3 finally got every game running. So hopefully Xbox will be not too far behind where they can get it running really well on here as well. But as you can see, the game plays. I mean, it's not perfect. It does have some stutters here and there. But it is runnable. I mean, you can get in a car, drive, no problem. It just got a lot of stutter and freezes in it. But. Best no, it and there you go. And we're going to end it on that note.
All right, so if you enjoyed, share it with your friends. Give them any tips that you can give them. If you see anything that I need improvement on, also write in the comment section. I don't mind taking any criticism or anything that can help prove the video quality, visuals, whatever that they got to be done. Um, if there's anything that you need to see run or how it's running or you need help with information, always comment down in the comment section. Um, eventually, once we get this channel pretty decent and get the numbers up there, I'll try to give a giveaway uh, eventually, you know, to help others. Uh, that's what this channel is about, helping people, give them information. Uh, yeah, I would love to be sponsored one day, but at the stand of kissing butt and all that stuff, I don't do that, you know. Um, so I appreciate everybody that does view the videos all the way through. Um, everybody that does, or even when you do look at the 10 seconds, I appreciate it anyway. So either way, you know, y'all helping me out, but I'm also trying to help you guys out. But if there's anything that you need to see, or a game, or whatever that you want to run on here and see if it actually will run, Put it in the comment section. I'll try to get to it the best that I can. Uh, I do want to try to do the bottle syrup video for one of the uh, people that asked. I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not because I don't want to mess anything up further than what I already have messed up on the Steam Deck before. Um, and now that I got everything running on here pretty well, as you can see, I got all my games and everything. I kind of don't want to mess with it. But if I have to, I will. So I'm not going to say I won't do it. I just also need another SD card to be able to do it as well, and that's another reason why I haven't um, done it. But if there's anything like that, um, I might be doing separate games and stuff eventually to test. Like I said, Switch stuff, I might have to do some research on how to at least put some Switch games on here without getting copyright stripe from Nintendo, because that's the last thing I need. Even for a small channel, they, they still don't care. They will strike you down. So. Um, as I've been seeing ETA Prime and I'm doing, they've been putting their little cartridges to show that they have the games. Me, personally, since I don't have a Switch, I don't have the game, so I'm not going to try to. But if y'all know a workaround around that where I can show some gameplay or show how that runs, um, then I'll make a video that way so that, you know, it don't hurt both us or, you know, anybody else to view. But anyway, I dragged this on long enough. Appreciate the views. Like the channel. Subscribe to the channel, do whatever helps the channel out, and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.